You know, what makes a good management team is, is almost like a mosaic. You know, there's so many things to list out, but I'll give you four that I really spend time thinking on. Number one is the culture. I think culture beats strategy. Um, so I spend a lot of time thinking about the culture of the organization. Now these are things typically which you cannot find in an Excel spreadsheet. So you've got to get your head out of an Excel spreadsheet, spend some time with the management in their environment. So you've got to visit their company. Um, if you're a mining company, you've got to visit their mines. You know, you've got to spend time in their domain. And that's how you can get a feel of their culture. So that's number one. Number two is their capital allocation. What are they doing with the cash that the business generates? Are they giving it back to us as dividends and buybacks? Or are they reinvesting that back into the business for future growth? And the answer has to be a mix of both. So their capital allocation philosophy is a very important to understand. Number three is, is, a, is a slightly interesting concept of you know, confidence and paranoia. You want your management teams to demonstrate confidence but also be very paranoid about the environment. And it's, it's difficult to have both, but you need that balance. And the only way you can uh, get comfort on that is if you spend time with the CEO, CFO, CTO, and they can give you a sense of all the competitive dynamics, almost like the Porter's Five Forces, that they're looking impact in their company, whether it's regulation, whether it's new competitors, whether it's suppliers, whoever has an impact on the cash flows that the business will generate. So that that balance of confidence and paranoia is very important to gauge. And the fourth item that I look for is, is this management team a force for good? Is it a force for change for the positive? You know, are they thinking about impacting the world and leaving it in a better place than they found it? And I think that's again a test. Um, and as, as you may um, realize from these four tests, these are very, very qualitative tests. You know, it's very difficult to qu quantify them. But what you can do is you can have this as a checklist and you can rank different management teams on your particular views of, of you know, their, um, on, on their criteria of culture, on their criteria of um, looking at, you know, whether they are a force for good. Um, you can look at what their quality of uh, management team is in terms of capital allocation and you can rank them on all these scores and then you have a sense of this is the relative management team that you want to bet with over a period of time.